Hi students, today we study how to solve solving pair of linear equation by graphical method. So this is very easy question and this is definitely a fixed question for 4 marks. So now we solve a pair of linear equation here. So this is this question is asked in the April 2022 annual examination. So first for when you are facing this types of problem, first you check the coefficient of x and y in the equation. If the coefficient of x and y 1 you feel it is very easy you can solve it very uh, in short time so in uh, from equation 1 from equation 1 here x plus y is equal to 5 it means the sum of x and y is 5 so here you take the values for x and y so you can take how much you want that much so here to draw a line we want minimum two points it means you take minimum two points so first i take the value of x as zero and then one and then two uh, and five you can take any values positive or negative which one you feel easy you take those points so one thing you remember the sum of these two number must be five because here x plus y is how much five so here if the x is 0 it means automatically the y value becomes 5. If x is equal to 1 so you know the addition problem so 1 plus 4 becomes 5 and similarly 2 plus 3 becomes 5 and 5 plus 0 becomes 5. So now we get the table for uh, coordinates for the equation solutions for the equation 1. So for this you get 1 marks. So similarly you calculate the uh, values for the second equation but so this second equation is little bit change from first equation. So for such equation not necessary to take more values you take only selected values so which are easy to you to calculate. So here I take only two values. So, in this type of situation, so here x plus 2y is equal to 6. Remember friends, so for such problems, one time you take the value of x as 0. So, what it becomes when the value of x is 0? So, in place of x, I put 0. The equation is x plus 2y is equal to 6. Now, I take the value of x as 0. It means in place of x, I put 0. So, 0 means 0 plus uh, any number is the number only. So, at 0, the x will 0 means only these things remains. So, the value of y becomes y is equal to 6 by 2. 2 1 za, 2 3 za. So, the value of y becomes 3. So, next value in uh, here you take now y as 0. In first condition you uh, took the x 0. In the second condition you take uh, y as 0. So now what will comes here? So in place of uh, y we take 0 is equal to 6. So 2 into 0 means it becomes again 0. What will remains? So x plus 0 is x only. So the value of x comes 6. So we get 2 points. If you want take more points also. So these two points are enough to me to draw a line. So okay. So with the help of this you plot the graph for these two uh, equations. So for this you get definitely two marks. For the remaining two marks are for the remaining part. Okay students now you take these two uh, tables and plot the graph for this one. So first you mark these points in the uh, quadratic uh, coordinate system so here first point here x is 0 y is 5 so one thing you remember it is very easy so if the value of x is 0 that point lies on y axis so very simply where is y 5 in equation you uh, in uh, the here you mark that so here if uh, x is 0 y 5 is you exactly mark the point on 5 you and second point so here all are positive means they first lie on first quadrant only so first uh, second point is 1 comma 4 x is 1 y is 4 yes x 1 y in this line only you mark 4 where is 4 so this is second point third point x is 2 and y is 3 x is 2 plus 2 is here 
y is 3 in this one 1 2 3 here is 3 exact state and last point here x is for you y is 0 so when such points comes you feel very easy because your y is 0 means that point lies on y axis x axis only here y is 0 means it is uh, on y axis where x is for you now you join all the points with the help of scale only so now if the if, if your calculation is wrong the points come outside the line so now here this is the graph of equation 1 similarly you would float the mark the graph of equation 2 also so here x is 0 in first equation so in first point if x is 0 y 3 it means it is lies on y x uh, y axis so where y axis mark 3 and in second point x is 6 and y is 0 it means x so y is 0 means this point lies on x axis where x is 6 so here is x is 6 i mark that one though so this is 6 comma 0 point now here we mark these two points now you join these two points you get your answer so if it is necessary you can extend otherwise leave it so now here both the lines uh, are intersected intersected means if they have only one solution so which are the solutions the solutions are where both the axes are intersected that is our uh, solutions so now you draw the perpendicular from the point of uh, intersection to x axis i draw the perpendicular to x axis uh, that is x is equal to 4 now second so similarly you draw the perpendicular from the point of intersection to the y axis so it is y is equal to 4 for this we get the our result so for this work you get 4 marks so don't forget to write the scales so here we increase the number just 1 1 it means uh, our x axis scale is x axis as 1 centimeter 1 unit and y axis also we increase the number just by 1 1 so it means y axis scale is also 1 unit for the, so students this is very easy problem so in examination also uh, you face only like this simple problems so you practice more and more problems such problems you definitely get four marks so okay students i will uh, upload in my next video uh, so, so uh, such easy and interesting video so for to get those videos you subscribe my channel